Welcome back. And we're moving into our final segment for today as uh, we find out more about Belize's participation and success in the Microsoft Office Specialist World Championship 2017. That's a mouthful mm, yeah. and a lot to explain as well. So we have with us uh, Godfrey Sosa, who is the, I can't remember exactly your course, but I know you're a teacher at Belize High School. Yeah. And uh, we have Dr. Kiran Vanjani, who is the director of Sci Infotech. And we have Angel Santos, who was a participant and also the winner. Uh, so let's jump into the conversation. Good morning, first of all. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Yeah. Now, uh, Dr. Vanjani, I'll start with you because I know you came on the set to promote the national championship. Mm -hmm. And a part of uh, being eligible for the world championship was to be able to get the Microsoft certification mm -hmm. uh, and then you would have your national uh, competition and then you'd move to the, to the world. So tell us about the process and how surprised you were by the quality of the persons who participated. First of all, thank you for having us here mm -hmm. this morning. And um, with regards to the process, uh, it was a national championship. As um, you mentioned that we were here earlier to promote the national championship. And this is something new, uh, which is happening in the country. Yeah. And last year, we had the participation from a few students. And most of them got certified by Microsoft. That was a wonderful thing about it. And um, the, then there were the different um, positions. And Angelo Santos was the first one. He, was a, he won the first position. And then we had the second and third prize winners as well at the national level. Mm -hmm. And then the only one who is at the topmost level would then have to represent the country at the international lev level, which was the World Championship. Yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, with, and it was held at Anaheim, California. Mm -hmm. And he was there to represent the country. So I must congratulate the country, first of all, yeah. that the country was represented as the name was spelled out and um, called out there as Belize participation for the first time at the World Championship. Yes. In Microsoft Office Specialist. So that was a great thing and we are very surprised and we are very happy yeah. about it that we could make it. And I used to always think that why Billy's is not participating in a competition like this. Mm -hmm. And then uh, with yeah. everybody's support um, that worked out and I would also like to acknowledge the support of Channel 5 as well mm -hmm. uh, and the other medias as well and Billy's High School yeah. and also our sponsors, um, Full Tech, TFC. Um, BTL, I don't want to miss anyone, um, <laughs> ETC, um, Ibero America, which is in Guatemala and mm -hmm. we were, were, we are working with them as partners also in this um, whole mm -hmm. process and also um, Western Union, um, Wellworth, Mirage, mm -hmm. Radisson um, and um, in terms of the support, um, Belize High School, um, Channel 5, Reporter, yeah. Love TV, all the media channels. And everybody, all the students who did the hard work, yeah. and we could reach to that stage. So I would like to thank everybody. Yeah. Now I wanna I wanna jump into the participation of the students, and uh, Godfrey, you can probably shed some light on it. Now, I think for the rest of us, especially probably the older ones, <laughs> the idea of becoming a specialist in using yeah. Microsoft Office or yeah. specifically Microsoft Word is pretty foreign, you know. Yeah. Um, why did the school and uh, why did you prompt the students to pursue this path and what is the benefit of being a specialist in these specific yeah. areas? Okay, w one of the things that we try to do at Belize High School slash Belize Elementary is that we always try to set the bar. Yeah. Our idea for having our kids there is to try to have them um, the most marketable, mm -hmm. um, setting yourself apart from every other person. Yeah. And we have traditionally always been just taught how to use Word, Excel, yeah. Office, and, and that was it. After the four-year period, then you kind of like, that's it. Mm -hmm. But what, what a certification like this does is validates what, what you do. Mm -hmm. And the, the nice thing about a certification in Office pro products is that it, it, um, it, it, it adds something to mm -hmm. your resume, that yeah. which validates that, you know what, okay, this person is qualified. Mm -hmm. are specialized in this era and the nice thing about this is that because it's being offered in Belize now internationally when our kids go out it makes them hey, okay this, exactly this kid comes with this okay mm -hmm. and also they would get some credits as well if they go to some of the universities in US mm -hmm. so they do get credits for the certification as well 
So, An An Angelo? Angelo. Angelo, all right. Yeah. <laughs> um, explain to me the difference between what the knowledge you have as a specialist in this area or having the certification versus the rest of us who know how to open and save a document, <laughs> maybe do a couple of shortcuts, you know. Yeah. What, what's the level of intensity in, in uh, what you need to know for the certification? Well, mostly what you need to know is like, everything where everything is um okay. how to do things like there were some things i didn't know how to do before that mm. now i know how to do like what like there um you know like i've always tried figuring out how to put pictures in the backgrounds of my things mm. for powerpoints yeah and now i know how to do them properly yeah because before i used to just like post a picture of the background and it used yeah. to look terrible yeah mm. but now i know how to do it like properly and mm. okay. make it all look professional yeah yeah and I think that in today's society, it's really important that you know how to be computer savvy because everything is so digital. Tell us, tell us about the benefits of how this is going to help you as, I know that you're still a baby now, but as you become <laughs> an adult and you move into the workplace. Well, I feel like this will help me a lot because like a lot of people will look and see that I'm Microsoft certified mm -hmm. and um, that will help me a lot in the future. Like, and I will be continuing to do more and I'll, um, do attend more of these competitions, get more certificates, and yeah. eventually, I feel like it will help me a lot, like, just work-wise. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you did the certification process, <laughs> yeah. and then you were the winner of the national competition. Yeah. Now, explain to, explain to us, how does one compete yeah. in uh, the difference in knowledge uh, when it comes to utilizing Microsoft Office? Well, um, it's like a quiz that they give you. Okay. Yeah, and um, the person who gets the highest score uh, wins the competition. Yeah. Okay. So they quiz you as to where exactly you go to put in that watermark for that particular. <laughs> yeah. Really? <laughs> they quiz you on where everything is uh -huh. how, and how fast you do it. Oh. Yeah. And it's mostly just in Microsoft Word and, and Excel and... PowerPoint. It can be used in different areas, yeah. but this year we had it in PowerPoint. Okay. So he's certified in PowerPoint currently. Yeah. And for okay. the next year, for 2018, mm -hmm. we will be having those in all the three tracks, which is Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Because mm -hmm. there's no longer access. Is there? Uh, access certifications are there. Okay. Yeah. Yes. But then um, for the competition purpose, these are the three ones. Yeah. At the World Championship, they do compete in these three areas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, but certifications are available in all. Yeah. Okay. And so obviously you had your national uh, <laughs> competition. What was it like to travel to California mm -hmm. and compete with other young persons like yourself in this area? It was really a great time. Yeah? Yeah. I met a lot of new people. Well, all right, so competition-wise, mm -hmm. it was very nerve-wracking. It was really, I was really nervous yeah. to yeah. do it. Um, in the competition room, you know, I saw everything and I was ready to do it. Mm -hmm. Uh, but after the competition, uh, that was when we got to hang out with all the other people. We got to go to Disneyland rides and mm -hmm. all of those things. <laughs> yeah. it, was, it was fun, yeah. Now, in your interaction with the other competitors, what did you learn about their motivations behind becoming uh, cer uh, certified within these Microsoft programs? Um, I think like it's, the, it's almost the same as everybody else who yeah. took the competition. They want yeah. to achieve the same goal of becoming well in computer sciences and okay. all of those yeah. things. Yeah. Now, Mr. Sosa, what does this mean for your class? If these guys know how to master <laughs> specifically PowerPoint, next year Word, what are you going to teach? Well, you know? the, the idea, um, and we are collaborating with Sign for Tech, is <laughs> yeah. that the idea is to have all of our kids be certified in at Fantastic. least one era of Microsoft Office. So by the time they're finished their four-year high school, mm -hmm. um, life they should have four certifications in word excel powerpoint and access mm -hmm. in addition to that we also have a information technology major track that we offer at the school the okay. first of its kind okay. in belize so these kids they actually major in information technology for the ones that wants to pursue a career in information technology they major at in the three core areas from high school and those include programming database management systems and networking mm -hmm. so um for us i mean it's 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 a big thing um having these kids be certified i mean eventually i would suspect that um all of them would be at the same level so it, it shouldn't be an issue for us no. so 
Dr. Banjani, I'm still really interested. Why, why Microsoft Word, Microsoft Office? Why the, the interest in that field and having the kids specialize in that specific area? Because that's the most popular program we all use on that's a daily true. basis. Mm -hmm. If you ask anybody, even a child, you would ask, okay, yes, I know how to use Word and yeah. they use yeah. the projects, for example, and even at the uh, office yeah. uh, level, we use all these programs, Outlook, Access, and all these programs. So once we are a user of those programs, so why not why not validate also your skills? Yeah. Yeah. So that is the um, main idea behind having in, uh, certified in Microsoft mm -hmm. Office. But then that's not the only certification, but you can also get certified into QuickBooks, into Adobe Photoshop, and any of the programs which you want to get certified in. Yeah. Because we are now a CertiPort authorized testing center, okay. which means any certifications which CertiPort would do offer, we can offer those yeah. here in Belize. Okay. So then people don't need to go to states to get certified. Mm -hmm. What is the training process like? <coughs> well, um, there are like a lot of programs okay. that um, you could do that. They're like simulations of the actual tests. Oh. Yeah, and um, they give you hints to what to do, and then they give you like quiz tests, they, mm -hmm. they just all of those, they test you on it. And, yeah. Yeah. So obviously, especially when it comes to PowerPoint, that's not just for, for students, you need that in the business field, you need everywhere. that everywhere. Um, so does this mean in group assignments you will continuously be tasked with uh, making the presentation? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> everybody will look to me to do it for them. <laughs> now, you know, I, and that's, let's, that's still a, a great asset that you can offer to other people. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I want to move from the concept of having certification for the knowledge uh, within these specific areas, I think is something very new for people. Um, why would you say, especially for other schools or even for parents who are watching, what would be uh, the greatest motivation in getting them involved in a program that will certify them? Perhaps they already have the knowledge, but to have the certification, what's the difference? There's a main difference that you can validate. You can say that, yes, you know it well, because once you say, I know it, but then you don't know how well you know it. Mm. Okay. Because th there are different levels of users, and somebody might be just able to open the file, for example, and save it and print it, and that's all. Yeah. But then there might be other users who can do it more better. And another important thing you get through this is the productivity, mm -hmm. which is um, going to help when you're at work. Maybe a report you have to prepare, you are taking two hours, and you could have done that in 15 minutes. Yeah. So why not be productive and be more efficient in whatever you're doing? So it brings excellence to whatever you're doing. And we use that program, as we said, like on a daily basis. Yeah, sure. Most of the time of our work hours, how much time you did, uh, devote to using those programs. Mm -hmm. So why not be efficient in doing that? And also like um, as Belize High School has um, partnered with Sign for Tech in implementing that in their school, in high school. So every year the students will do like one, one certification yeah. as we have planned like in first form, one certification and so on. Yeah. And similarly, we are um, contacting the other high schools as well and the junior colleges, universities, everybody, so that they can also be a part of the program and they can offer that same thing to their students also because they are like teaching those programs already. Mm -hmm. yeah. So at the end of the year, like they do the school exam, but in yeah. addition yeah. to that, if they just give this a 50 minutes exam, it's not a very right. big thing yeah. to do. Mm -hmm. And once you're preparing well towards it, and as Angela also mentioned that we have the simulations and we have different <laughs> online trainings also, which you can do at your own pace, at your home or work, wherever you have. Once you have access to internet, you can use those, uh, those online trainings. Plus we provide them the assistance wherever needed. Mm -hmm and they have simulation tests to use. And then once they are ready, prepared, they have to just take up the exam, and which is a project-based exam. So in that they can actually do whatever they need to do. Like, mm -hmm. how, how strong is your appeal to, oh, this is a certificate. For it's participation for yeah. the yeah. World Championship. Nice. How strong mm -hmm. is your appeal to business places? Because I can imagine that, especially within our business places, we have a lot of older hmm. employees and they're not they didn't grow up in a high school where they taught them Microsoft Office yeah. or any uh, even maybe even Word or uh, even Orage we only learned yeah. the basics yeah. true mm -hmm. true yeah. so how strong is your appeal to the business community I think as long as we are alive we can learn <laughs> <laughs> I That's always true. say that uh, learning is a sign of being alive so if we think we are alive <laughs> we can learn Definitely. And there's no age bar as such and yeah. anybody who has an interest mm -hmm. who want to improve 
whatever you are doing, if you want to improve, we can always um, assist yeah. them in learning. So there is no um, limitation, limitation as such, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody. And these are the basic levels and then we have the expert levels also. Okay. Yeah. So these are not like that difficult um, as uh, we mm -hmm. say. Yeah. Because these are the basic levels to start with and then we have the expert levels also in Word and Excel. Yeah. You can become, uh, do the expert levels and you can become a master also later mm -hmm. on. And then if you are taking the IT track, like as Mr. Sosa mentioned earlier, so if you are taking the IT as a major, then you can also do the MTA certifications, which are Microsoft Technology Associate. Okay. okay. So those are more higher level. So these right. are like just to begin with. Yeah. Just to wet your so, feet. Yeah. So anybody yeah. can participate and get certified. Yeah. Now, Mr. Sosa, how more intense is the knowledge for the certification versus what was being taught in the classroom already? Well, I... In comparison, um, it goes into a little bit more detail mm -hmm. than, than what we would cover yeah. normally. Um, but um, I, I do think that we cover most of it. Most of it already. We've already been covering most when of it. When we compared the course outlines for the certification and what was being taught, yeah. so not much different. Yeah. Well, I, I ask that point because that underscores it. If you're already learning the knowledge, yeah. why not have a certificate yeah. to prove mm -hmm. it? Yeah. Yeah, so. Definitely. Angela, tell me what this means for you now. Are you now prompted to perhaps move into computer science or is yeah. this just one more thing that you have accomplished? And He's one of my IT majors. Oh, yeah. you're an IT major, right? So what's the plan after this? You've had this exposure. Well, I'll continue learning IT mm -hmm. and I'll move forward and I'll hopefully be, uh, be able to com further uh, complete my studies in computer science. Yeah. Okay, all right. And Dr. Vanjani, we know that Zai Infotech offers the certification not just to students, anybody can contact you? Anybody, yes. Yeah. Anybody can contact irrespective of the age bar and not only high school students, even primary school students, if they are willing to do that, they can do and uh, at international level, people like students at like six years old have been certified as well. Oh, wow. So. Yeah. It can be any age group, anybody, and we also offer it to corporate um, corporate trainings, including with that. Yeah. And all these certifications are available. And the most important thing is the upcoming competition for next year. Yeah. This is an annual event which will happen every year. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. So next year, um, the competition will be in Orlando. Yeah, in um, Orlando, Florida. Yeah. Was shared at the. Um, you look excited, ceremony. like you plan to be there. Already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, yeah, we're going to be in uh, Orlando. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'll, I'll be taking it again oh, next year. Oh, you're yeah. ready to defend the title? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> good. So next year he's planning to go in um, Excel. Excel. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. So yes, and even the other students also who participated in the national level, they yeah. are also very anxious to go into next right. year. Yeah. And they're planning to do in a different track mm -hmm. and um, go through the process again and be there in Orlando. Mm -hmm. So next year we will have three winners. This year we had one because we did in one track. Okay. Yeah. PowerPoint. Just next PowerPoint. year we should have the three winners. Um, at national level in each track in first, second, third place and then we would have the three winners representing Belize again. Yeah. yeah. Nice. You know, it's such a wonderful idea because when you spoke about and we can see your enthusiasm yeah. in learning these skills, mm -hmm. that who doesn't want that? Kids yeah. excited to learn something exactly. that they need, <laughs> <laughs> need to know. So uh, it definitely is a wonderful opportunity and not only that, Angela, we saw how uh, Belize was a part of the spotlight. We always say that when people travel outside of this country to represent us, yeah. they're ambassadors. You know, they, mm -hmm. they represent themselves, their schools, and their organization, but ultimately they will be the Belizean participants. Yeah. So yeah. Mm -hmm. thank you uh, for taking the time and effort along with your school to be able to do so and best of luck from this point forward. And once again, Dr. Vanjani, uh, this was uh, something that you have introduced uh, after you received your um, license to certify in Belize and so people can still take advantage of that as well. Mm -hmm. right? They're most welcome to contact us and our contact information mm -hmm. um, it's the site infotechbz at gmail.com mm -hmm. and our phone number is 227-1323 and we are located right here in downtown in Albert Street and anybody can contact and I would also like to request all the high schools to come on board with this program so their students can um, get this opportunity, yeah. this lifetime opportunity they can get and also I would request um, the organizations to come forward to sponsor all these students because <coughs> these students like who are the winners they get a fully paid trip to mm -hmm. like Orlando, Anaheim, wherever they, it would be. So we would need the support from the entire country 
mm -hmm. entire community in terms of um, having Billies represented there at yeah. international level. So mm -hmm. that is my request to everybody, all the viewers, uh, to come forward and get participate and let's show the world again that Billies can participate and not only participate but we can okay. win it. Right. So that is our next goal to have the winner that they're at international level. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure with great students like Angelo and many other students throughout the country, we have the talent. Mm -hmm. But then it's just a matter for um, to, uh, to be it. able to show that yeah. to the world. Well, thank you all for stopping in and sharing your experience. We appreciate it. And best of luck. Thank you. Thank too. you. We're going to go ahead and take that final break now. And when we come back, we'll have our wrap up. So stay tuned.